Howdy. And, uh, yeah. Uh, the babysitter and the babysitter kill acquaint. So, yeah, this is the double movie review since I saw two of them this year, which is kind of crazy. I mean, I saw the first one earlier in February 2020. Like, or I saw it earlier this month. I don't even know how to end up watching this, but I should probably get this done because I would like to go take a shower because it is so hot in here. I need cold. I need to get cold. I might as well get myself in a bathtub that the water, that the, but the water is super cold. I might as well do an ice bucket challenge, except I don't need it. I have put time ice. <laughs> All right, let's just get on with the interview. That interview. <laughs> God, I got. I have got to be the most weirdest YouTuber you've ever. It, you see, I I really am the weirdest YouTuber to ever be on YouTube. I guess. All right, let's get on with the reviews. First is the Babysitter that was released on Netflix in 2017. All right, the Babysitter released on Netflix in 2017, and uh, yeah, I guess it's a pretty it's a pretty scary movie, but to me, it's just 60 percent scary to me. But my mom. Yeah, I'll have to find out. Hopefully I can get her to watch. I'm hoping I can get my mom to watch both mo both babysitter movies with me. And hopefully I'll get some footage reactions of her reacting to the movie. But yeah, anyway, so we got Cole, who's got a... Oh, uh, warning, well, I forgot to do this earlier in the video. Warning, there'll be major spoilers. Both movies. I will spoil both movies if you have not seen The Babysitter, Killer Queen, get out of this video immediately or else your babysitter will join a blood cult and then will try to murder you. That came out wrong. But still, get out of this video and go watch the movie, both of them, if you haven't seen both of them, and then come back here. Don't mean to be rude, I'm just warning you. And you've been warned. You've been warned. But yeah! Alright, spoilers in 3, 2, 1, go. So yeah, Cole's got a babysitter, and I think that I think he's 12 in this one in 2017. I don't know the age doesn't matter. So yeah, he's got a babysitter who happens to be a psychopath murderer, and has he has to survive the night from almost from 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 getting killed by her babysitter, his ba his babysitter, along with her friends who have and I know all their names: John, Max, Allison, and Sonia. Oh, wow, I just remembered all their names. I never thought I'd remember all their names. But, yeah, uh, and also, uh, I did, like, okay, I, this is the weirdest video I'm doing. Oh, yeah, 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 I, I need to cut all this out. If I know how to trim videos. But, yeah, uh, so, okay, how do I just... Oh, don't tell me I forgot. I hate it when I forget. This is really, I should really take notes down when I'm doing movie reviews. But yeah, um, I always keep saying but yeah, 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 but technically, they're all in a blood cult. They made a deal with the devil. And, uh... Yeah! Um... I don't know what else to say about this. I mean, the movie is not, it's not a bad movie. I have also saw the kill count from Dead Meat, YouTube channel Dead Meat. And I'm mostly I'm looking forward to see uh, James, I think his name is James, do a kill count for the babysitter Killer Queen. And I have no clue if my brother has seen the babysitter. If he did, then he's watching the sequel with me. I do miss my brother. And no, he's not dead. He's at he's at my dad's. He'll be back home on November 30th. Which means I'm alone here in my room for the rest of my life. <sighs> so sad. So sad. Oh, shh. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ay, ay, ay. Whew, that was a big sneeze. Ah, uh, I don't know what just happened. Yeah, oh, no, oh, no, no, not my closet, not my closet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is the knee. I just got there. Stay, stay how it is, stay how it is. 
Okay, so yeah, um... So yeah, I then... So there is a kiss scene between Melanie and Cole, and I'm like, Ooh, 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 okay, oh, oh, okay, 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 I don't know why I keep saying okay, but I'm just gonna keep saying okay, 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 well, this is happening, this is happening, well, this is happening! But yeah, but then there's a post credit scene in the movie, which has B. Alive, about to stab the fireman. But yeah, alright, let me just, uh, I keep saying, but yeah, ay ay ay. Okay, yeah, okay, I got, okay, I'm gonna try not to keep saying that. But yeah. Gosh dang it! <laughs> oh my god, this is the most weirdest reveal I've ever done on my channel. Literally. So, um, how many stars will I give it? I think, uh, um, I'm guessing probably, uh, four and a half stars. I mean, good, but it's, I mean, with the death, death scene of the sacrifice, it's, that was way too soon. I mean, I just feel like it's right. I mean, I, I, I can't, I, I can't, like, give every movie five stars. I gotta, like, make it fair for me or something. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I give it four and a half stars, and I still like it. It's a pretty good horror movie. But I might have to change that now that I've seen the babysitter killer queen. On to the next movie. And translation begins now. Oh, I, I went, I just went over there, but I appeared right here. I didn't turn it out. I just used the teleportation. Oh, magic. Okay, let's just get, let's go to the chase. So yeah, uh, two years later, after the incident with what Cole experienced, you know, around that night. So yeah, uh, yeah, he's now dealing with high school and stuff. And worst part is, nobody believed him. I didn't even saw that coming. And worst of all, his parents think he's crazy. Everyone thinks he's crazy. Like, he's, he's dead serious. He did not made all that crap up. He was actually almost killed by her, his babysitter along with her friends. But yeah, um, did I just said, but yeah, I, 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 okay. So, um, now, yeah, yeah, we're in high school and stuff, and, uh, that was my lightsaber, sorry. Okay, so, so yeah, that, I, there is a part where, um, Cole's parents are thinking about sending his, and sends Cole to a school academy or something. I think it's for crazy people. I don't know. But yeah, uh, so he just decides to just ditch his parents and join along with Melanie who are going to the lake. And yeah, of course, oh, uh, we do get a new transfer student. And she's from Stuck in the Mill. Yes, I watch Stuck in the Mill. It's one of my favorite shows on Disney+. Plus. And since I have got Disney+, Plus, I can now watch all the shows I wanted to watch that I wasn't able to watch on TV. I'll still watch TV. I guess. I don't know. And also, for the record, if my hair in academia doesn't get to move on Halo or something, or something happens to it that involves me not being able to watch it, I will lose my sh- Okay! Let's forget that I cussed on camera. Okay, so... Yeah, I better not say- Ay, 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 I got off. Ah, crap, I said oh sh- In Spanish. Alright, so yeah, they're all in the lake along with uh, a couple of dude friends, I guess. And I'm like, oh, wait, is, she, is that her boyfriend? Ay, 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 ah, dang it. Also, there is a cameo scene where, okay, so I've seen her in King Bex. I can't even tell if I'm saying his name. Yeah, I've seen her in some of his video, in TikTok videos. So yeah, she, she was cameoed in the movie. And I forgot her name. I think it was Amanda. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, about the new transfer student, uh, her name is Phoebe, and, uh, for the record, the actor that plays Phoebe, she said <laughs> F-bomb in it. And that's the first time I've ever heard her said the F-bomb, along with some other curse words. How old are these kids, anyways? She looks like she's 17 years old. Actually, how old are these kids in this freaking movie? Okay, let's just continue. So, um, 
also, uh, in the first one, Cole destroyed Melanie's dad's car by, he used it to run over his baby sir by breaking the house, in, well, breaking the, his house in the, destroying his house in the process. But yeah, and Melanie's dad got a new car, and yeah, and, so yeah, of course, the parents start to look for, for Cole, and yeah, now we're into the, uh, uh, so of course we're in the uh hang on hang on I know this I oh yeah 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 we're now on the boat and uh, we're playing like our card game I guess I don't know what it is it's like it involves kissing in the closet and my camera's right there oh, this is a closet behind here oh look at that my TV what do you they're in the closet and then Cole and Melanie smooch smooch smooch. Okay, that was too weird. Okay. So, yeah, they're kissing smoochy, 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 smoochy. And I'm like, ah, this, the, ah, okay. Ah, this is why I shipped this in the first place, since I saw the first one and stuff. Yeah. Ah, hey, there's one, there's the reason why I'm thinking of, uh, re, re, thinking about the first one, you know, changing the stars, because I'm thinking of giving it probably three and a half. Just take away the other half of the four, you know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's why I'm still thinking about it. But yeah, let me tell you the reason why I'm thinking, and why I'm, you know, having second thoughts with the first one. Because I start to have questions with myself, and I'm like... <laughs> and you all know the reason, since you saw my reaction of how... You saw how I reacted to that scene. You, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on, I, I, you, I, it's just footage. You saw, you saw how I reacted. I was like, and sorry that my face was like, you know, just like this. Again, sorry for the terrible, terrible camera quality. But you saw, I'm just like, then this happens. I'm, oh! <gasps> what the? F <gasps> you saw that. I, I mean, leave a comment below if you saw my, my reaction to the most twisted off. Oh, that scene was black twist. I mean, holy crap! I mean, she's like, she. You know, so yeah, the this guy. So yeah, this kid. I don't even know his name. Talk, asks Cole about this blood cold stuff. You know, like some some. You ask him some questions, and then, then okay. Uh, but mostly, what got me concerned was the Devil's Book. When Cole was like, "I never told you about the Devil's Book." I'm like. Wait, did did he told her? I wasn't paying attention. And then my star heart starts to race like My heart my heart tingles is tingling. I, there's something going on, there's something going on. My heart is warning me about something. I got a bad feeling. I know that the that the gang, the psychopath killers are gonna appear on the ship somehow. I don't know how. But uh, I thought of that wrong because Melanie Happen to be the bad guy, the new bad, bad girl, whatever, the new bad. Yeah, plot twist. She, she somehow knew about the Dells book because she wrote her freaking name in the damn book. I mean, holy crap! I did not saw that coming. That was, I mean, that was mind blowing. And she kills. A, I mean, seriously, this scene is way too soon. I mean, I don't like kids... I don't like kid death scenes in movies and shows. They're the worst. By far the worst. I don't like them. They're the worst. And I don't even know how old she was in this movie. You know, um... She, of course, I know she's a teenager. Probably 15, 16, 14. Which is worse. I'm just like... Oh my god! She's dead! Her mom's dead! I think that's her name. I don't know. It's just... That scene was way too soon. It was way too soon. And I was shocked. Shocked. About Melanie. Bad. Except, I don't get it. I still have questions. She was good in the first one. It's... Shouldn't she have died in the first one? If she's part of the cult? Or something? I mean, I'm still confused. I have so much questions. What the hell, Netflix? What the hell, MCG? 
I don't even know who MCG is. It's, it's just a um, director that directed both babysitter movies. But yeah! Of course, then there's a Psycho Breakers Club killer that are back alive somehow, and I now I know. I still don't know how they're even alive. I guess second chances or something? I don't know. The, oh, who am I kidding? It's the devil! The devil brought them back from the dead. Yeah. So yeah, then uh, Phoebe and Cole are uh, trying to survive the night from the Psycho Breakfast kill Club killers. That's what Phoebe said. Psycho uh, Breakfast Club psychopaths? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I do. Uh, there is a reason why Phoebe was out there. Like, uh, she got like a bunny with a key and sports teller in her locker. That's cool. And yeah, I guess that's why she came there, because her parents' cabins. And uh, we now, I now, I did find out that her parents were killed, which sucked, and she survived. And there's gonna be, there's, there's gonna be another plot twist. But I'm gonna explain that later. Uh, what else was I going to say? What else was I going to say? Oh yeah, there was a scene that- I'm not gonna mention it! I'm not even gonna mention it! I'm not gonna mention it! I'm not! I'm not! I'm not! I don't like the word, and I don't want to mention it, but still! How is that a thing? How is this- this is so messed up! What is going on with people's minds? Along with most of men's minds as well. Is it because that whole oh, I'm not even gonna say the H word. I'm not even gonna. That word makes me really uncomfortable. But I'm not gonna say. But yeah, and I just said it. God dang it! All right, let's just get. All right, let's just finish this so I can relax and sadly do online school homework because I just finished class. And I guess this one's something. Well, that's not what this is about. What it's about is the babysitter. So yeah, the new babysitter is Melanie and Killer Queen. I guess is Melanie or probably B. I don't know. I'm guess. You know what? Scratch it. It's B. B is the killer queen, or Melanie. Either way, one of them is the killer queen. Mm, yeah. Of course, uh, the gang's deaths end up gorier. I mean, Sonya got decapitated with a surfboard, and oh, and then Max is oh. Uh, Allison's death, uh, she got stuck in the candy thing, and they tried to, uh, Phoebe and Cole tried pulling her down, but they ended up ripping her head away, and they ripped, they ended up ripping her body away from her head in the process. Then, oh, 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 the cat, okay, her body with no head, then the rock comes down, and, and then, and then Max, his face gets, oh, uh, I mean, that's just, I'm like, and then, of course, John. You will die a virgin. Oh crap! <laughs> yeah, these gore, these kills were definitely gorier. And also, what this is messed up is because. Uh, what? Okay, I'll tell you the messed up part. Um. I mean, something happened. You just. It's something I, I forgot how he said it. He was like, "God, you're grounded." My like, God, you're grounded. I don't even know how he said it, but she cut off his arms and killed him, which is messed up. Why would she even join the freaking blood cult? And of course, there's. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot. So yeah, um, at first I thought I was gonna be upset that Cole would like Phoebe instead of, of Melanie. Because I always shipped them to since the first one. But since Melanie has become bad, yeah, I'm gonna go with Cole and Phoebe. Because there's a kiss scene in the movie. And I'm just I'm just like whoa 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 whoa. Uh Yeah. And then uh Cole's dad and then comes there with you know so yeah. So yeah, Cole arrives there when, you know, it's, 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 I don't know how do I explain this? You know, I'm just gonna skip forward, and I'm just gonna skip forward, forward, I'm just gonna skip, we want, I'm just gonna skip, 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 skip. And then we have a return of B, the babysitter, from the first one. And plot twist, she was Phoebe's babysitter, and... I, there's a reason why she joined the blood cult. B, I mean. She wanted 
she wanted uh, Phoebe to be all right, but she didn't have enough time. But she then, you know, joined, made a deal with the devil so she can live. Yes, I mean, I had a feeling that it was her. That B was. I mean, I had a feeling that I was sort of right. But still, I I didn't saw that coming. I was like, shut the front door. No freaking way. But yeah. And then of course everyone's drinking blood, you know. And I'm like, is this, is this bad? What's supposed to happen? I really don't know. Is this bad? Should I worry? Tell me that I should worry. I know. Okay, this is probably bad because if they get what they want, they'll probably ki kill Phoebe and Cole. But then <laughs> this part happens, and I'm just like, what the hell's going on? What the hell? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I keep just saying that all the dang time in the in my reaction, you know, part seven reaction. I, I couldn't tell what was happening. She, so B was like so, something about the innocent? But you're not so innocent anymore. You're not so innocent anymore, are you? I'm like, I'm sorry, what the hell is going on? And I don't know if I'm correct, but I think... So, okay, okay, so, um... The gang, along with Melanie, uh, Max, John, Allison, and Sonia, along with Melanie, end up dead. Well, Melanie blow up blew up and of course there was blood and I'm like please I've already I've already had enough but I spoke too soon I should have kept my mouth shut but still I know the I, I know the reason why they they ended up dead um so the innocent I'm guessing is being a virgin and not being innocent means you've lost your virginity so I'm thinking that I don't know if I'm correct, but I'm thinking that Cole and Phoebe, while they were kissing, they... Please leave a comment below if you know what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say it. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't know why. It just does. It just freaking does. But yeah. So I'm guessing, yeah. Cole got laid or lost his virginity or laid. Getting laid and losing virginity means the same thing. But yeah, and I kind of knew this was going to happen. And what was going to happen? B was going to turn good in this one. Since first one, she's bad. Second one, good. It's, 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 I've seen something like that in other movies. And of course, I, I know why they made Melanie bad, because I noticed there was a different writer for this movie. And here's the thing. You've got to admit, it, this is true. What I'm going to say is true. The writers are mostly the directors, the real directors of movies. Directors are just, okay, so this is what you need to do. 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 Hold it right there. Yeah, that's perfect. This is what you need to do. I'll be right back. So, that, I, I'm i still learning about movies, directors, producers, stuff and crap, all that crap. It's all right, it's all right. But yeah, the writers are mostly, okay, it's either screenplays or writers. I'm just gonna say the writers are mostly the directors. So yeah, they, they yes, they made Melanie bad. So yeah, that's why. But uh, I thought I was I thought, I really thought I wasn't going to like this movie after Melanie turns bad and stuff, but this movie wasn't so bad. So I kind of I'm going to give it 4 stars. It wasn't really that bad. Not that bad. Okay, I might as well have to take a You know what? No, I'm just going to keep it 4. I'm going to take one away for <laughs> When Melanie turns bad, and of course there's a death scene with Boom Boom. But the first one, I'm thinking I'm just gonna give it probably three stars. Three stars. But yeah, um, so yeah, this movie was pretty good. I enjoyed it. A long and hard, but I'm serious. Like I said in the last video, which was my reaction, if we get a third one, I will lose my sh. I will, guys. There's a post credit scene. I kept clapping like. Yeah, I kept clapping until I saw the post credit scene. And of course, I got what I wanted. I saw the post credit scene. It was the freaking devil book. So, are we getting a third one? Someone explain me. C comment below for yes, we're getting a third one, or no, that we're not getting a third one. Cause I don't know if we'll be getting a third one anytime soon. Cause of COVID. I don't know. I'm losing my freaking mind. It is freaking hot in here. Just fan me up. Fan me up. Fan me up.
Sorry, it is extremely hot. I'm gonna end the video here. I don't know how much I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm gonna get wet. I need to get wet. I need to be a pool. I need to be in a pool. Except, I don't have a pool. So I'm just gonna get myself wet by taking a shower. A nice, warm shower or cold if I can't handle the heat anymore. But yeah, um, that's my review, double movie review for both babysitter movies. You know, I still feel good that I've watched two babysitter movies in one year. Because, literally, I did not know they were making a sequel. But, yeah! Um, babysitter, three stars. Uh, the Babysitter, Killer Queen, four stars. But, yeah, leave a comment below on how many stars you give it. So, let me be specific with you with the stars. Uh, zero stars, zero percent. And, uh... This is gonna be way too long to explain, so I'll just give us, uh, let's go, it's so many details, I'm just gonna give you half of the details. One and a half star is 10%, two, one star, 20%, two and a half stars, 20%, then, uh, no, 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 30%, I mean. Two and a half, two, two stars, 40%, three and a half stars, 50%, three stars, 60%, uh, four and a half stars, 70%, four stars, 80%, and five and a half stars, 90, and of course, five, 100%. So yeah, do a comment below how many stars you give this movie. What are your, what was your favorite about it? Like, I'm, I'm guessing my favorite was when B turned good, and probably because of Chloe and Phoebe. They were really too damn cute together. But yeah, that's my review for both Babysitter movies, and I do hope you enjoy my review, but uh, I'm, I'm going to do a weird video, and that weird video is me reacting to... Dead Meets Kill Count of the Babysitter Kill Queen. I might as well watch both Kill Counts. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, uh, please do like this video. Like, subscribe. <laughs> oh my god, I, I'm so freaking weird. It's the heat wave. It's making me insane. Making me weird. I don't know. I should end the video here right now before I lose my mind. So please do like the video. Come below. What is your favorite? How many stars you give it? If you're new, please consider subscribing to the channel and comment the description below that I'm missing video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. What was that? I think someone broke into my house. I'm gonna go. Bye bye. And yeah, I yeah yeah yeah. Okay, I only did that you know since. YouTubers do these things. And, you know, YouTubers do these things. Okay, I'm just gonna end the video. I'm already lost in my mind. So, see you in the next video. Peace out and goodbye.